Well, welcome to this video on how to upload a print book to lulu.com. You first need to register, that requires an email address and a password, then you log in, and once you've done all that, which should be pretty straightforward, create a print book. Click on this option, and the one I'm going to use is a premium paperback, A5. I want to have a color interior, so I'm going to go to full color on white. It's a perfect bound paperback, and I'm ready to roll. Except I only want this at 32 pages, the minimum, and that's going to cost me $15 Australian because it's going to be color. Now I'm going to then click make this book because I've already done all the spine measurements and I've worked that out. We did that in an earlier video. So the title is going to be there we are, The Metamorphosis, and I'm not the author, it's Franz Kafka. Now, very, very importantly, I suggest you click Make Only Available to Me, because it keeps it private. You can do this at Blurb, you can't do this at Create Space, Amazon. You actually have to put one on the online store on Amazon. So this is great. This is private, make only available to me. Make sure you use this. I hope I've stressed that enough and then we'll move on to save and continue. Now the very first thing you need to do is upload your text file. Now here I've got the PDF, the press quality PDF of the pages at A5 for the metamorphosis. I've clicked on them and I'm going to click upload. And we're just going to have to wait for a little while. So I'll use the magic of YouTube to actually fast forward it a bit. Then it says your file has been added to your book successfully. So we're ready to go down the bottom where it says Metamorphosis, A5 pages. That's the title of the file, of course. And now it's uploaded. We can make the print ready file. Your print ready file is complete, but we had to make the following changes. We detected and flattened transparencies in your file. Download and review the modified file before proceeding. Now I put an RGB image in there just to see if it would fix it because Lulu is meant to fix those RGB images. Of course, they're meant to be CMYK. So it's done that. I'm not going to open it now. You get the idea. You can check that out. You can download it if you want to, but I'm going to save and continue. This next page is where you put the cover together. Now it's saying you're using the new Lulu cover wizard. You can use the old cover designer or use our advanced one piece cover designer. You should have made your cover as one file so you can use the advanced one piece cover designer. We'll click on that. And then it says, right, you've got to upload this type of PDF file and it's got all the specifications there. Now this file is just a fraction of a millimeter out and I'm going to see if it will work. It should. No, I only mean a fraction of a millimeter, not, um, you know, one or two. And what I mean by that is that I put a three millimeter bleed all around the outside. Strictly speaking, it should be 3.16 according to Lulu's measurements. And I put a two millimeter spine where it should be 2.03 millimeters. That's three one hundredths of a millimeter. That shouldn't make a difference. So it's accepted it. And there it is. There's a little image of the cover. And I'm going to save and continue that. had to make the following changes. We detected and flattened transparencies. Mm. We detected low resolution images in your file. For best results, we recommend an image resolution of 300 PPI. Well, that might have been one of them. I'd say that might have been the sample barcode, but you don't have to worry about that. Just save and continue. It'll still print, but it perhaps won't be as high in resolution. Now you can see here that it's done the front and back cover. The spine should come all the way down. That's unusual that it's not showing that. I don't know why that's not happening, but it, uh, it's probably because it's only two millimeters. It's priced at $15 and six cents. And you can download it and look at these files if you want to. Now that's looking all right to me. And it is private access. Please just remember only available to you. Keep it private access. 
don't uh, have it any other way at this stage uh, because if you make mistakes you don't want them to go public save and finish right now you've successfully published your book now you can order a proof copy yourself you can see what to do you've got to have a credit card put in those details choose action okay these are the other actions you could you can do there but uh, I'm going to click order a proof copy and you can see the subtotal there is $15.06 prints in three to five business days you continue to the checkout 